He is out in the elements right now where temperatures will climb into the 90s before this afternoon is over. She has her hard hat on. She's ready to go to work, Jackie. No, it's OK, Lou. We're inside. We're inside. It's OK. A little bit of holes in the roof still, but we're going to be fixing that by the end of today. Very excited to be here for Founders Day. It's a day of caring with We Are Iowa. That's Local 5 and CW Iowa 23 teaming up together with Greater Des Moines Habitat for Humanity and building a house, believe it or not. When you come together, it's amazing what you can do. And we're going to learn more about that right now with Jenna Ekstrom, who is Director of Development and Marketing with Greater Des Moines uh, Habitat for Humanity. Let's talk about the exciting things that are happening today. So there's so much excitement going on. So we've got people on site helping to put up siding. We're going to work on the roofs today. And in the end, we'll have four families who will be able to purchase a home. Unbelievable. And a beautiful home. I know we're still just kind of bare bones right now, but we're building this skeleton. And you can see a, a very nice uh, home that anybody would be proud to be living in. Absolutely. So this will be a three bedroom and there will be a family moving in and they'll be able to pay an affordable mortgage. And they'll be able to make some of the selections as well. So they'll pick their exterior color so they can really make it their own. How important is it to get uh, companies, obviously individuals and volunteers, but companies to really team up to be a part of a project like this? It's so important. Collaboration is huge for us. We need all hands on deck. So we work with thousands of volunteers, companies, faith-based organizations, individuals, anyone who can help us is really welcome to build with Habitat. And this neighborhood is just starting to flourish. When we see we've been a part of this project for going on three years, I believe. And if you drive through the neighborhood, you're seeing some wonderful houses already. But we just want to keep that project going, correct? Absolutely. We want to be a catalyst for more development. We want people to be able to stay here safely and affordably to move here. Um, and we love seeing the kids that are now playing in the street, riding their bike. Um, it's just becoming a true neighborhood. All right, so we want to make sure everybody knows this is more than just about today. Uh, you guys do things year round and how important are those volunteers that you're seeking, not only uh, for special events like this, but uh, all year long? We wouldn't be able to do it without our volunteers. So we work all year round, six days a week, rain, shine, bugs, sun, wind, whatever. <laughs> we need people out here to help us out and to really make it happen for these families that we help provide a hand up, not a handout. And if people want more information, we've been talking about it all morning long, but where's the best place for them to go? The best place is our website, which is gdmhabitat.org. And what are we hoping to see by the end of today? Uh, I know you're probably hearing some noises in the background. It's like, is that supposed to be happening? I think so. Brad Edwards, are you breaking the house? You doing okay? Of course, Brad Edwards up, up on the roof where he likes to be in charge uh, building things uh, from Local 5 uh, head meteorologist there. He's uh, keeping an eye on the sunshine for us up there. But uh, what are we expecting out of this today? What are we going to change the change uh, so that we are inspired to do more? Yeah, we'd hope to see the sheeting on the roof, which means we're ready for shingles. We'd hope to see some siding up and then in the coming weeks we'll be able to finish that siding and by this fall they'll be done and families can move in. And how many houses are we talking? I know we're working on a few right here on this block but in whole with this neighborhood what's the undertaking that you guys are looking to do? Yeah so we did 10 houses last year, 23 this year and then 40 repa repairs through our Rock the Block program. So we're excited to really see a huge change from when we started in 2017 to early 2019. Are you still looking for volunteers with this week? Like could you take people even today if they were willing to step up and say, I want to help out. I think we're good for today. You guys have us covered, so we're in good shape there. Um, but definitely next week, we still need people to come out and volunteer. Okay, you heard it. Uh, you could be a part of this. Don't worry. There's a breeze. It's fine. Uh, it's about working together, creating that community, and knowing that you are doing so much good for the community. As we heard from the executive director, they're looking for 18,000 volunteers. You can be a part of that. And a lot of times, your company will allow you time off in order to be a part of something like this. And we're very grateful to and next star for allowing us the opportunity of giving back on a day like today. Okay, so if, never, if nobody's ever done anything with Habitat for Humanity before, doesn't really understand how it works, what would you say to encourage them to get out to be a part of something like this? Um, I'd say just come out. It's a fun day. It's all about collaboration and teamwork. And at the end of the day, you're going to know a new skill that you can use on your own home or you can come back and work with us again. Don't be intimidated. Anyone can come out. If I can build, they can build. Oh, I like that. I can learn skills I can take back home with me. The people are going to expect me to do work around the house. Oh, no. It's all good. It's all great things that are happening. Remind everybody the website once again so we can get more people involved. Sure. GDMHabitat.org. Okay. I'm going to switch into my We Are Iowa blue t-shirt, some shorts. I'm going to keep this hard hat on, but see if I can go find a hammer so we can continue to do some good on this Founders Day of Caring. Uh, it's all part of why we say we truly are what Iowa is all about. We are Iowa. Jackie Schmelin reporting live from Birdland Neighborhood. Back to you guys in studio. Yeah, again, uh, Jackie's not even sweating, but she will be in short order. So we're looking forward to that. And again, uh, thanks to everybody that's out there helping out with that great cause. By the way,